Hello everyone, welcome back to part 35 of The Sims 3 Supernatural. Persephone is out of work for the day, so before we go home, we are actually going to ask Miss Beautiful Elvira on a date tonight. Since we are dressed up, I think we are going to go over to the Vampire Lounge, the Red Velvet Lounge actually. And isn't that cute? We actually have a relationship with our broom. No! Oh god, Persephone hates hates the word no. She despises no with passion. She does. Let's see if this girl wants to go out. Invite her out. <laughs> we could go on a date with our zombie witchy self <laughs> because in the last part Persephone created a twin of herself basically. Another Persephone who is now now a zombie and she's a witch, and she is our twin, basically. So Countess Snipes is totally, totally okay with that. That, that is nice. Um, yeah, I really would have loved to go on a date with Alvera, but if she is not having it, then she's not having it. Yeah, no one here is really that interesting. Wait a moment, wait a moment. Okay, never mind. We are totally going to ditch our date because Bianca Crumblebottom is here. And she is a witch, and she is also a very powerful, flirty witch. So I think we could have quite a bit in common, actually. I might take her into, into stylist, actually, for a moment, though, just to give her a little makeover. I'm going to give her a very, very quick, nothing too elaborate kind of makeover. I'm only going to really change her everyday attire and give her a custom mm -hmm. content kind of hairstyle probably. Yeah, I think Bianca looks really, really, really good actually. I really like her. She's actually very, very pretty. I think she is though. Yeah, I think she's very, very, very pretty. So we are going to quickly give her an everyday attire. I'm not going to worry about changing her every other outfits. I just wanted to change like her main, main outfit basically. I'm actually just going to give her this outfit which came with Supernatural. I'm going to give her the matching skirt as well with the top. So yeah, that is pretty much all I'm going to do with Miss Bianca. But I really do think she is pretty and I do love the fact that Bianca is a very powerful, flirtatious witch as well. So I definitely think think that she would suit Persephone. I really think that she would. So I'm kind of glad that we stood up our date to meet this girl. I'm kind of glad. <laughs> so I kind of want to give her high heels as well. I might keep a little stockings, maybe. But I'll give her high heels. I think so. I mean, those are very classic witchy shoes, though. They really, really, really are. But yeah, let's give her some heels. I wish I could wear heels. I really can't wear heels. I love them, but man, I would just die if I had to wear them. I actually really, really, really like Bianca. I think she turned out so pretty. So Persephone, even she wants to learn her sign as well. Like so we'll totally do that for Miss Persephone. Mm -hmm. And oh. I guess oh. maybe oh. we will do a pickup line too. Damn. Oh, she is flirty. Gorgeous. See, she is flirty just like us. Yeah, I really like Bianca. I think she is so, so pretty. She really, really is. And we're going to see what her preference is. Maybe she is straight. Maybe she is unwilling to budge from her, from her, um, from her attraction standpoint, I guess. And we will do a private rating on her as well. Oh, she is gay. That is awesome. That is perfect, actually. Oh, she's not quite comfortable letting us try to tell her her fortune, I guess. <laughs> um, let's enthuse about magic. Hopefully she'll like that. I mean, she is a fellow witch. She should love that. Okay, I think she did. So we are going to do a love charm actually on her. Yes, I love these love charms. <laughs> then we're going to flirt with her instantly afterwards. Okay, who is calling you? I swear, she constantly gets phone calls. It's probably her date wondering where the heck Persephone got to because we totally stood up our date. <laughs> we stood up our date to meet another girl. Ooh. Oh, she is so in love. <laughs> oh, that is so beautiful, though. 
I'm actually really into Bianca. Like, I was not planning for her to be, to be like a girl in Persephone's life, but I actually really like her. I mean, they're kind of two peas in a pod, basically. They're both flirty, they're both very powerful witches. Can we do the, the, um, thing? <laughs> that made no sense. Yes, this, this. Oh, we're giving her a nice massage. That is nice. Yeah, so we can do this with her. That is so cool. I've always wanted to do a spell casting duel with a witch. I don't even know if we even did it in this Let's Play. That is so cool. See, she is a very powerful witch, so she's definitely going to give us a run for our money. Oh, that is so, so, so neat. Oh, I love that. I love, too, that Persephone gets to use her hands. I freaking love that. So we're going to quickly drink an invigorating elixir. Yes, we can drink that. And you are tired, too. So we're actually going to throw one at Miss Bianca, just so she won't be so sleepy. Then maybe we can ask her on a date. She can be our date for the night. Come back here, Bianca. Where do you think you're going, girl? Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Come on, this will definitely help you. So apparently we lost a spell casting duel. See, Bianca is a very powerful witch. She definitely gave us a run for our money. Man, look how beautiful that is tonight. The moon and the sky. Oh, that is so pretty. It really freaking is. She goes, I'm too tired. Did we not throw this at her? Yeah, throw this at her if we have not already done so. Okay, there we go. So maybe we can try now. Because you should not be tired. You should be wide awake, actually. Yeah, she is totally wide awake. So we are on a date. Lovely, lovely. So let's go over to the Red Velvet Lounge with our date, of course. We want to bring our date with us. <laughs> And I promise, we are not going to stand up Bianca as what we did with Countess. I promise. <laughs> and also, I do want to read our book for work, though. So that way we can hopefully get a little bit closer to having a promotion. That would be so, so nice. Nobody is really here. We have a fairy. And that is pretty much it, which is kind of pathetic, really. <laughs> Maybe we can take our photos together, though. Yeah, let's take some romantic photos with Bianca. That would be nice. Come on, Bianca. No, put something else on. Put something a lot cuter than that on, girl. Come on. I mean, who, who do you think you are? You, you gotta impress us. We are Persephone. We're a powerful witch. You gotta look good, too. Yeah, we are getting a little bit stinky, unfortunately. Oh, she wants a booth. Who in the photo booth, actually? Well, since she wants to. <laughs> now, see, I was actually planning on maybe with Persephone doing the, like, a try for a baby thing with someone. Because I would play it off as, like, Persephone is a witch, so she is able to turn other people to help them be pregnant and all of that. But again, I just don't think kids are in Persephone's future. As of now, as of any time in the near future, I just don't see kids being a part of her life anytime soon. When she looks in the eyes of a child, she just remembers so much about her painful, painful past that she really just does not want to have kids. She does not want to lose her kids or anything like that. Kind of like what one of you guys said. You guys said something like, that Persephone is scared of losing her child. She is scared of like loving a child to, to lose her. So I think that is definitely what Persephone is feeling as well. Yeah, we are totally going to do this in the photo booth. A super classy place. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so it is kind of late. Um, I was going to invite her back to our place, but we do have like back at our place, so I don't want her to get too, too suspicious. Although, I think with Bianca, I think she would actually be very, very understanding. <laughs> like, I think she would be. Like, she would totally be into this whole prisoner, captive kind of thing. We didn't spend much time together, but whatever, it's all good. Maybe next time. 
Yeah, maybe next time, girl. Maybe next time. We'll get something to eat before we have to go. Hopefully we can. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the place is soon closing, but at least we got something to eat. Persephone is feeling so happy with herself. Jeez. Jeez, girl. Go home, please. Go home with, with your bad self. <laughs> Public woohoo. Yeah, stride of pride. Yeah, she is totally, totally glowing. She definitely needs a shower as well. Like, that is her main priority as of now, pretty much. Okay, so it is the next morning. Already, Persephone just wants to argue with, uh, with the fairy. <laughs> so we are going to buy something here. We're just going to see what they have to offer, if they have anything new at the elixir shop. So we do have some gem dust. Not sure if we can use any of that, but we might as well just get it since it is so freaking cheap. We'll get that, and let's see, let's see, let's see. We'll get large and in charge, and we will get a Origin of the Tragic Clown. I believe we already have one, but we have Nidda's Touch, grants the Golden Finger um, to turn objects and other sims into, into gold. Oh, you know we gotta have that. <laughs> Did not know that even existed. <laughs> Did we get the second one? Let's see. Yeah, we did. No, we didn't. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, get that. We're actually going to use some elixirs. We're going to throw the, the large and in charge one at Mr. Dave of Poke. <laughs> yes, I want to use some of these uh, bottles. Oh, there he goes. He has a little, a little tummy. Boom. Thanks to that sudden splash of large and in charge. David Puck is large and charged, wet and confused, the way I like it. So, yeah, I really want to use this. Okay, how does this work again? <laughs> um, to turn objects and other sims into gold. Okay, maybe we should not use this on ourselves. <laughs> Can we use this? Okay, let's see. I don't want to, like, accidentally screw up Persephone's life. I don't. Let's throw this at David. We'll use him as our guinea pig, I guess. David, where do you think you're going? Ignore the coffees. Okay, he experienced a sudden lust for gold after being hit with the touch thing. He should be careful about what he touches until the effect wears off. Oh, that is so cool. Let's go to work, then we can use it on ourselves. I just did not want to use it on ourselves if it was going to like harm us in some sort of way. Oh my god, you guys, we were insanely, insanely close to getting that promotion today. That sucks. We were right there. Right there. Aw. <laughs> I guess we'll get our promotion Wednesday though, so it all works out. So, of course, we are totally going to be using that, um, that M M Medaya's or something touch. We're going to use that on ourselves, actually. <laughs> I really want to use this thing. So it says, Persephone feels an incredible energy surging through both hands. Like almost anything she touches touches could turn to gold. Um, yeah, let's try doing this with that statue. Our gargoyle. <laughs> Ooh, fancy. Let me just see how much that would be worth, if it goes up in price or anything like that. I'm not sure how much it originally cost. Let's see. I guess I can't grab it. <laughs> well, that is so cool, though. It looks a lot more fancier, though, right? You know, I can totally imagine the skeleton belonging to Pablo, one of our past prisoners. Yeah, I can totally imagine these skeletons belonging to all of these... Then. <laughs> oh, that is kind of cool, actually. Yeah. Okay, I want to see though if the price does go up. So, how much do you cost? Oh, yeah, we can't clone it because it's already gold. Um, but let's see. You should be in hobbies, right? I would assume so. I would. Okay, let's just go by university. Okay, here it is. Okay, so you cost 205 simoleons, the regular price, and you would cost nothing. <laughs> Come on, I can't sell you? 
Nothing. Okay, so that has absolutely no value. I mean, it looks cool, but it has no value. <laughs> well, that kind of sucks. I was hoping for something like really, really expensive. But I do like this thing though. It's kind of neat though. I do like it. Let's ask, will I ever find true love? I don't know, Persephone. I really don't know. You have a really bad record when it comes to relationships. Is that good or bad? <laughs> Probably looks kind of bad. Um, not the best idea. I agree with, with the orb. The orb knows it all. It does. Okay, we're also going to see if we will ever become, like, super filthy rich. And... Um, should I have kids? Oh god. So we're asking the question if we can become rich. Persephone looks very happy. <laughs> there is not even a, a, a modicum of doubt. Okay, at least that was better news than the other one. Okay, it looks like the orbs is saying, yeah, man, totally have kids. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a good idea either, because yeah, Persephone hates kids. Why would she want kids? She hates them. I mean, she really freaking does. Although, the one thing I'm thinking about is the fact that Persephone would probably like an heir. An heir to her throne kind of deal. So, you know what I'm kind of thinking? This is just kind of a random idea. Maybe we should look into adopting a sim, a baby. And since we do have the bottle, if I can find it, the witch's broom, we can turn a human sim into a witch. Or a wizard, a warlock, whatever the man term is. <laughs> so maybe we will do that because I just feel like Persephone would want an heir to continue on her legacy. So yeah, maybe she will do that. Hmm. Oh god, the, the decisions. This is a really big decision if we were to adopt. Let's just see. Because I can totally understand the appeal of that. You know, Persephone, she does not want to die in vain. She does not have that much of a longer life expectancy. Her life expectancy is not as long as what like the fairies or vampires are. Or even the, the werewolves. So I feel like she would want an heir to continue on her evil ways, basically. Um, we'll just see. We'll just see how this is going to go. <laughs> I'm still really not sure because this is, this is kind of like a random idea. But I mean, the, the orb, the orb of answers said that we should totally have kids. So I'm trying to go by the orb. The orb knows everything. Maybe... Maybe Persephone would surprise herself and actually be a good mom if push came to shove. I'm actually trying to find pictures. Yeah, here they are. So here are the pictures from uh, the photo booth with Bianca and Miss Persephone. They're kind of cute, right? I think they're kind of adorable. We're actually going to invite over Bianca as well once we finish scooping up that kitty litter crap. <laughs> Oh, poor man, he's crying tears and tears and tears. We're going to see if she wants to come over. Yeah, poor Mike, how are you holding holding on, buddy? Yeah, 23 hours. We'll wait till 11 o'clock and we can try to... Oh, I forgot, yeah, his little tombstone is in here. <laughs> how about we put his little tombstone upstairs? Oh, by the other one. Not suspicious whatsoever, right? <laughs> the neighbors won't be suspicious in the slightest. Oh god, guys, should we do should we do a baby? I feel like we should because this will be the last part of Persephone. And although we really won't be playing with her kid really any of this, I mean it just would be so so cool to have a kid maybe make an appearance in season two. A kid of Persephone's. Because I don't want Persephone's legacy to just completely vanish. I kind of want an offspring of hers in season two. Not to have as a main character, but just to have in the town. We'll get a toddler and I think we'll get a boy. I think so. I think she would be a lot more comfortable having a boy than a girl because with a girl maybe she would be more reminded of her mother and her mother's death when Persephone was a child. Everything that she had witnessed growing up and everything. 
So yeah, maybe we'll get a boy, but then again, she hates men. But maybe she wants to raise this boy completely under her image. A very powerful warlock kind of deal. So yeah, maybe we'll get a boy. Um, you know what, I'm just going to call him, I'm going to call him Surprise. <laughs> because eventually I will give him a name. I'll probably pick up the name, or if you guys want to leave name suggestions, of course, feel free to do so. But I think his name will be a surprise for season two. This is Surprise, his new makeover. So I really thought it would be so, so cool to really make him the powerful warlock, possibly in season two. Again, he won't be a main, main character. But yeah, Persephone, she definitely wants an heir. She wants someone to continue onwards with her legacy after she is gone from this world. So I think this boy, I think he has what it takes to be a very, very powerful warlock. Surprise, we'll definitely be drinking the bottled witch's brew when he is older though. So since Persephone did adopt, she was not really planning to adopt. She is actually, what are you going to do with him? <laughs> Just carry him, drink the honey, pick him up, put him down. She does not know what she wants to do with him. She is definitely a new parent. But yeah, since she was not really planning to adopt or anything like that, to see this little boy, to see that he is going to look up to her, to raise him right and everything like that, she is going to wonder about Mike. You know, Mike is downstairs reading a book. So Persephone is actually going to come downstairs because this child, although this child is not really changing Persephone as Persephone does enjoy to be bad, she likes being bad. Um, she is definitely thinking a lot more about how she should be teaching her son the rights and the wrongs. And she does not want her little son to, to see her at her truest wicked self. So some senses start to kind of knock into Persephone. So we actually are going to, we are going to, um, can we unlock this door? Oh, replace. Oh, it's burnt. <laughs> That's why we cannot use it. Okay, so we are going to, yeah, take away the key. Basically, take away the key from Mike. So Mike is free. And he is definitely going to get the heck out of here. <laughs> so Persephone. Oh, he is still his little zombie self. He is just going to... I was going to break up, but all we can do is R. 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 R, 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 brains. That's all we can do, basically. So, you know what? He is just going to get the heck out of here. He is just going to say, screw this, screw this. <laughs> so we're just going to move, quickly run, try to escape from this crazy lady. We're just going to kick him out. I have no idea where he's going to go. I have no idea, but... He definitely wants to get the heck away from her. <laughs> okay, so we definitely do need to buy a little, a little baby's uh, crib. I see the ghost is here, Pablo. Hmm. You want to woo through with Pablo? Really? Okay, so we are flirting with Pablo. I don't think we can woo through though. It's not really letting me do it. It keeps stopping the interaction. Oh, maybe we are. <laughs> he is a ghost. I guess maybe he has forgiven us. Maybe. <laughs> See, it kind of keeps canceling out. But that is kind of cool though. We have our own like little boy over here. That is pretty crazy. We're actually going to try to be a little bit nice and we are going to try to teach him how to talk for a moment. I did delete the coffee table here just to give us a little bit more room. Oh, that is cute. So yes, Persephone did free Mike. She freed him from death. She spared him. So I think Persephone, she really is definitely coming around a little, a little bit more. You know, she definitely went on a killing kind of spree after having those dreams about her mother and her past. But now, ever since this little boy showed up, I think she knows she has to be a little bit better. She has to kind of behave herself just a little bit, though. Persephone is still going to be evil, of course. That is who Persephone kind of is. She is a very, very hurt kind of soul. 
but she does want to make sure her kid is not going to be exposed to such to, to such badness. While he is basically starting out in life, that is not fair to him and she definitely definitely knows that. Okay, so we are giving some love to our little bundle of surprise. <laughs> so Persephone does want to go to bed, but before we do that, we're going to pet surprise in the crib and he should be good other than that. And I do want to drink the invigorating elixir as well, but we'll hang on and drink it a little bit later on in the day. So now I really want to take opportunity here to really to really work on trying to reach level 10 of alchemy. I really do want to master the alchemy skill before I end this part. So yes, this will be the last part of Persephone's legacy. So I definitely want to make sure that we are learning those skills and learning everything that we can. I think she is doing very, very well. I think she has learned just about all of the um, recipes, 80%, so that is pretty cool. And we're about halfway to level 10, so each step we're getting closer and closer and closer. We're just going to research a bunch of times, really. Mystic is catching a bunch of things, a bunch of uh, criddle, criddle, what? <laughs> a bunch of critter crawlers. Is that it? Maybe. I'm not sure. We're not going to buy a washing machine. Yeah, our boy is sound asleep. Mystic and Salem, you're both doing okay. She also wants to potty train him, so maybe Persephone is starting to turn around a little bit, a little bit more. Maybe she is starting to kind of already get attached to her son. Well, what happened to it? <laughs> or maybe not. Maybe she really does not care if he is potty trained or not. <laughs> we'll see if we can mix up anything. We don't have to worry about work today, and tomorrow we should get a promotion as well. So that would be so, so, so nice. It would be nice to end this Let's Play with a nice promotion. We can do Potent Skill Booster. Let's create that actually. That way we can drink that and work on alchemy. Yeah, see if that can help us a little bit. Come on, Persephone, you got this girl. Piece of cake, yeah, you made too. Piece of cake. We're going to mix this into a drink actually, just to try that out. <laughs> yep, stir that around. Mysterious drink. Very, very, very cool. Yeah, we'll drink that. And... Oh! Um, yeah, that didn't really work out as expected. Oh, God. Uh, let's try drinking this. Hopefully, just drinking it just drinking it from the bottle will be a little bit better. Okay, so let's drink the potent invigorating elixir. Then we can try to research some stuff. Hopefully, this skill boost thing will actually help us out a little bit. Hopefully it will. Does it look like it's going faster? I can't tell. It all looks the same to me. <laughs> We're going to research more. It looks like it's going faster. Is that just my wishful imagination? Probably so. Probably. Yeah, we're doing pretty well though. I, I would say that we are. What's this photo of? Oh, this is Persephone. Yeah, that is cute. Maybe our son should hang on to that. Some photos of his mother. I think he should. That would be so, so appropriate. Okay, she can go pee. She is getting hungry. So how about... Oh, we are getting so freaking close though. How about we eat or drink some honey? We'll drink some honey. Once we finish that. Okay, pee, drink some honey. Then you should be good to go to research a little bit more as well. Oh, that did not fill her up whatsoever. <laughs> life is sweet. What is it about the sweet, sweet taste of honey that just makes life seem a little bit more bearable? Yeah, I haven't ever really drank honey before. <laughs> I don't use honey. I obviously don't use it now since, since I've been vegan, right? <laughs> I don't use anything that, that is from an animal, so... Yeah, I don't remember even what honey even tastes like. I don't even remember. I'm sure it's sweet, just like maple syrup, though. Okay, so we're going to quickly answer that, though, just to see who is calling us. Oh, Bianca. Yeah, we'll talk. <laughs> I like how immediately she's talking about how she just does not love people. Yeah, like, we refuse to let our heart get broken oh. again. But we're going to make sure our boy is going to grow up into 
a man who isn't going to burn witches at the stake. In fact, he is going to be a very powerful wizard. That way he can fight against anyone that tries to harm him. Yeah, he is going to be very, very, very powerful. <laughs> so he is wide awake. Persephone, my darling, you are going to say goodbye to Bianca. Then you're going to come down here and just give him a little bit of love. We are going to snuggle a little bit. He is getting hungry. Yeah, we're going to snuggle him, attack him with the claw. Oh, they became friends. That is so cute. <laughs> so yeah, they are starting to kind of have that bond. You know, she dislikes kids, yet she is still very, very happy about it all. So we are going to tickle him and then we are going to feed him on the floor. Then he should be okay for a little bit until he poops his diaper, of course. Look a little mystic on the on the table. <laughs> She's so cute. Yeah, so he should be good to go for a little bit at least. Um, let's just quickly grab something to eat. Let's get some greens and herb sauce. Oh, she wants to keep drinking the freaking honey. <laughs> that does not fully up though. What's even like the point of drinking it? Okay, so you did cook your diaper. We'll be right with you in one moment. We'll change your little diaper. I did buy him a little toy and his crib, of course. Who's this? Kyle. Oh, I forgot about you. <laughs> He's having dinner with us, apparently. Okay, so he should be good to go, right? Yeah, he's good. We're going to put him down on the floor. Put surprise here. Actually, let's buy maybe a walker for him. I don't think we have enough room to really do too much with a walker. I'm going to put some stuff in her inventory, actually, just to just to leave some space there. We'll do it with the plant, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. He should have enough room to kind of walk around a little bit, I would, I would say. So we're going to put Surprise in his walker. Hopefully you guys will give me some really, really cool names for Surprise. <laughs> because I don't want to keep calling him Surprise for like the rest of my life. I just don't. <laughs> we're going to teach ourselves to walk. We're going to try to be a very independent baby. And do it once more, kid. There he goes. He's so cute. <laughs> okay, Persephone, I want you to go back upstairs or have a shower first, actually. Oh, it's broken. Let's... Can we, can we repair it as a witch? I thought we could. Nope, I guess we're just going to do it like the old-fashioned way <laughs> with our hand. And then we can go upstairs and, yeah, just try to crack down more on those elixirs. Yeah, we're going to do it a bunch more times. I think we are getting super, super close. Oh, yes, we are so close. It hurts. Like, it literally hurts how close we are. <laughs> yeah, she even wants to teach him how to talk. Oh, she actually wants him to grow up well, too. Yeah, that is sweet. Yeah, she is starting to kind of turn around just a little bit. He learned how to walk already? Man, you are just a little genius little kid, aren't you? Look at you go. Damn. <laughs> wow. How about you play a little bit? I mean, you already learned how to freaking walk by yourself. Jeez, what can you not do? <laughs> He's so cute though, right? I like the color of his hair because normally I go with like the typical natural hair colors like browns and blacks and blondes, etc. But yeah, I wanted to do something a little bit more different. Something with like a little purple hue to it. So yeah, I think he's quite, quite cute. I think he is. <laughs> he's having fun. So Persephone, how are those potions coming along, dear? Oh god, she is getting so, so close. But yeah, I'm impressed. We got 2 out of 10 sins. Okay, we got the skill booster, yes. And, oh my god, you guys, Persephone has reached level 10 of alchemy. Persephone can now create a batch of elixirs. This will sometimes give 3 elixirs per mix attempt. That is so freaking cool. Okay, so I do want to go maybe over to the uh, hmm maybe over here we'll go over here together with our group 
I wonder if we do need a babysitter this time around. Apparently not. <laughs> Our kid is just that independent where, yeah, babysitter. Yeah, they, they don't need a babysitter. Maybe it's because there are ghosts on our lot. Maybe that is why we don't need a babysitter. <laughs> Although I do find that so, so, so strange. <laughs> Man, Persephone is constantly getting phone calls. Jeez. Ignore that call, please. Oh, we could do that, but we don't really need to do that now, do we? Okay, so we are conjuring an apple, and I want to... Let's see, we are going to just give a big kiss with Bianca. I actually really, really do like Bianca. Like, I was not expecting to like her, but I actually do. I just think she really suits Persephone, you know, because she is a very strong, powerful woman as well. And they're both flirty. They have quite a bit in common. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of do like her, actually. Will she let us do this? Will you? Yeah, come back here, girl. Where do you think you're going? Trying to escape from us? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Some things never change, right? Oh, God. Um, we gave a really bad reading, apparently. That is embarrassing. <laughs> oh, God. Um, let's see. We're going to do a shy kiss as well. Okay, so I will be ending this part here. Officially, this will be the last part of Miss Persephone. And I will also include some screenshots as well at the very end of this part. That way we can kind of take a look back onto memory lane and see how Persephone came to grow into a very powerful wicked witch. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching this part. Thank you for enjoying Persephone's story as well. It wasn't as super in depth as what I would probably like it to be, but obviously with four other characters, it is harder to go super, super in depth, especially when I do want to end this let's play at 40 parts or so. I do see Miss Meadow over there. Yeah, she's over there having like a little picnic over there. Yeah, she's so cute. So maybe we should give her like a hug, actually, before before we end this part, you know? Just a nice hug. A nice friendly hug. Yeah, that would be nice of Persephone, actually. She does want to make up with Bianca. Oh yeah, she totally has a thing for Bianca. She is starting to develop a few feelings for her, I think. But yeah, I am pretty happy with how Persephone has turned out. She has turned out into a very, very powerful, wicked lady. <laughs> she really, really has. Oh, she won't let us do it? Oh, Meadow. You are no fun, Meadow. <laughs> okay. Oh, she wants to scare us. Yeah, this is, this is love. I mean... I mean, both Bianca and Persephone are both wicked ladies. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, so, so much. And I'll see you in the next part where we will pick up either with Meadow and Silas or Felix and the kids. So thank you guys for watching and, I'll, and I love you guys. And I'll talk to you in the next part. Bye.